Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anshika Mishra. Let's look at today's top medical news. Rheumatic disease linked to childbearing problems, find study. A new study published in the journal Rheumatology, published by Oxford University Press, found that rheumatic diseases can lead to reproductive problems, though some conditions have more detrimental effect than others. Immune-mediated diseases encompass a diverse range of conditions, all characterized by abnormal immune system activity. While some, like type 1 diabetes, typically manifest before reproductive age, others emerge later in life. Scientists have investigated systemic lupus erythematosus for its effect on reproductive health as the condition increases the risk for some adverse pregnancy outcomes, including pre-eclampsia, pre-term delivery, C-section and low birth weight. However, the impact of other autoimmune diseases such as psoriasis on fertility and pregnancy is unclear. In the study, researchers used data from Finnish nationwide health registers to study the impact of immune-mediated diseases on reproductive health measures such as reproductive successes and for women ever having experienced adverse maternal and prenatal outcomes. Out of all people born in Finland between 1964 and 1984, 7.9% 7 of the women and 7.8% 7 of the men had an autoimmune disease diagnosed before or during reproductive years. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. The findings highlighted that many immune-mediated diseases had little impact on the number of children. However, women with selected immune-mediated diseases experience a higher prevalence of childlessness, with the top three diseases being Addison's disease, that is 23.9% more childlessness, juvenile idiopathic arthritis with 9.3%, and vitamin B12 deficiency anemia with 8.6%. Several of the rheumatic diseases, particularly systemic lupus erythematosus and juvenile idiopathic arthritis, lead to higher rates of childlessness and fewer children. The risk of pre-eclampsia, low birth weight, preterm delivery, non-elective C-sections and need for neonatal intensive care were increased for many conditions. Systemic lupus erythematosus and type 1 diabetes showed over two-fold risk for some of these outcomes. However, the risk of gestational diabetes was not higher for patients with any of the rheumatic disease compared to the population. Despite seeing an elevated risk for diverse childbearing problems in rheumatic and other immune-mediated diseases, many of the complications are still fairly rare said Anne Carola, the lead author of the study. Family planning should be actively discussed between patients, both men and women, with rheumatic disease and their healthcare providers. Pregnancies in women with rheumatic diseases are carefully followed up to tailor medications appropriately, which help reduce risk. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.